Hi, my name is Tammy Nichols, and I am giving my career profile report for my marriage and family class. Uh, the career that I picked for this profile is on a case manager, and I used a local organization called CATCH uh, that is a nonprofit uh, organization that helps families, especially homeless families. And so I talked to uh, one of their caseworkers there or case managers and was able to get the information that I needed. Um, I asked her what the work environment is like and she said it varies from day to day. Um, it also varies if you're in a small organization versus a large organization. And, but the, typically the hours are between 40 and 60 hours a week, but it just depends on the caseload and other activities that you might be doing at that time. Uh, she enjoys working with the others in the organization and says that the environment's fairly family friendly, that it's fairly flexible, um, but it just depends on what you have going on and deadlines that you're trying to get to and cases that you're working on. Uh, as far as typical stressors go, she said usually the stress that she finds is that um, it has to do with the people and with their problems, trying to help them solve those problems and trying to get them to understand what they need to do to be able to get out of the situations that they're in or to make things better for themselves and their families. Uh, she said also there's lots of paperwork involved and lots of phone calls and that can kind of be a little stressful sometimes, especially with all the red tape that there is to go through, uh, that can be a stress factor. Um, sometimes the stress factor for her also is just helping the families and hoping that she's doing the best that she can and that she's managing their case in the best way possible. And then um, watching people struggle. She said that's another hard one because you want to be able to help them and get them back on their feet, but sometimes it can take a while. Typical benefits in the position are, she said it depends on the organization or the employer, but uh, where she's at, the benefits include health and vision, dental, holiday pay, retirement plan, generous paid time off, vacation time. Uh, they even have an education program if you wanna go back to school or pursue further instruction or degrees. Um, she said some places offer malpractice insurance depending on what you're, what you're handling. And uh, there's family medical leave and some places that she's been at before, um, including this one, have an employee assistant program where if you find yourself in a hard uh, situation or are in need of something, then they have an assistance program available to help you through that. Common job tasks are working with a wide variety of people, trying to help them in the best way possible. You need to be a good note taker because she, she takes a lot of notes, she says, and she does dictating for herself so that she can remember what she's doing for each family or each case. Uh, another common job task is just figuring out where to start. So she said you have to be self-motivated and be able to multitask. Um, again, there's lots of paperwork, so to be able to handle that and filing and, and being able to know what you did with what paper. Uh, record keeping, that's a biggie, she said. And um, also, if you wouldn't think of this maybe as a job task in most jobs, but being a good listener and treating other people with respect and dignity. Uh, and then finally, she said uh, to be able to be good at researching options for your clients and following up with your clients that you're working with, and also being good at networking, getting to know the other organizations and other people at those organizations um, that you may be working with. Education requirements, she said for this, um, usually it's a bachelor's degree, uh, is generally required to enter the field of social services. Uh, related programs can be found in social work, sociology, psychology, and human services. Students may be able to complete an internship and can take classes in current social issues, statistics, human behavior, and social science research. Uh, I also looked at where it said certification for case managers is handled by organizations such as the Commission for case manager certification. Most certifications require applicants to have at least a bachelor's degree 
from an accredited college or university and a minimum amount of work experience under the supervision of a certified case manager. Once individuals meet the organization's minimum requirements, they're eligible to sit for the certification exam, which makes sure case managers understand case coordination and advocacy, as well as follow-up services. Starting in salary um, for this position, it depends on the area, but um, the U.S. Bureau of Land Statistics uh, showed that the range is from 25834 to 67924 so it's pretty broad, but they said the median pay was 35287 And mis miscellaneous career information, um, just be good with computers, good communication skills, and ability to work with a wide variety of people and cultures. Um, also, uh, to be able to help people set goals and to be a good mediator for them. Additional responsibilities are also keeping track of case records and documentation and assuming the agencies are assuring the agencies have the appropriate information um, because caseworkers work with a wide variety of agencies, including police, welfare agencies, health clinics, and schools. Um, some case managers participate in educational forums and present on a variety of topics that educate the public on prevention and other issues. So that's another part of the job that you might be able to do. And it's just followed up with these professionals may also be called upon to review patients' quality of treatment and complete evaluations as needed. So anyway, I have different sources that are online, but that's what I learned about um, being a, a case manager. It sounds like an interesting field and something that would poss possibly be something that I would like to pursue. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and learned um, some more information on a case manager. Thank you.